Well, this was a quick video. Um, as some of you may know, I think I've mentioned it in videos before. Um, some of my royal pythons have been breeding. Um, I had the first bit of breeding yeah, on the 14th of December with the female in this tub and the other female in this tub uh, was seen breeding on the 21st of December so they're the dates I'm going off um, they were with a male earlier than that and later than that so hopefully there's been mating obviously before and after that as well so that's just the date I'm sticking with for a rough estimate of how long it's been um, right now I'm just checking the incubators all set up so obviously when eggs do come, if they come, I'm ready for them. Um, so I'm just setting up this it's a polystyrene box, full lid, little view window in the top and some holes. Yeah, I've just filled it with some fine vermiculite with about an inch or so of vermiculite. Um, I'm just going to now give it a quick spray with water. Obviously I know the knock of the eggs aren't going to come yet, just in case people are going to point that out. I'm just making sure it's all set up ready to go. So I'm making everything the way it will be when the eggs are in there. So I'm just spraying the vermiculite now with water. Get the humidity right. Yeah, and then when I've done this, yeah, I will show you my incubator, which is homemade. Um, let me know what you think. Yeah, I'll probably do that in another video. Depends how quickly I can get this done. But this will hopefully be used in the next month or so. I know it can take quite a long time for the eggs. Anywhere between 50 days and 120 days has been recorded, so it's pretty much guess really. But I'm hoping for around 60 to 70 days. So that's all right now. Just put the lid on. When the eggs are done, the eggs will go in there with the lid then on. Then I'll just take you downstairs to the incubator. This is the incubator, just an old fridge. And got this is the thermostat. Um, and then basically the inside is simple. Got the heat mount on the back. Um, and then what happens is you put the box on the shelf. You can see that the probe goes in the box. See the and the probe, you can't see there. So. You can see that the probe comes through the box lid. I'll give you the temperature in the box. And close the door. And that's it. Temperature set on this. It'll go off and on. Obviously, to keep it to the right temperature. The temperature I'm going to set it at, just to see if it works. Might not be the temperature I'll be doing that. I haven't really thought about that too much yet, but I'm setting it around 88. It's like less, 31 degrees. Let's see. Um, if you can give it, reach that, I'll be happy. I'll probably have it slightly less than that, but. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks,